damn it, where's our fucking transport? I'm on route, two minutes tops! Yeah, you better make that one, and there ain't no waiting for this table. English, LaRue! Get your ass here, or we're talking! <laughs> Roger that! Oh, that sounds like proper English, especially these days. He almost shot Ethan. Oh, I mean, we do have a giant bullseye on our shirt. And that's why I don't take Metro. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we made out with the body of uh, Van Horn, uh, LaRue, and what's-his-face took it. So, we got the body just for examination, but they left us behind, so we're going to have to find another way to get to them. Uh, this means a lot of bum fights just out in the open here. And uh, I really like this chapter. It's short, sweet, to the point, and uh, it's, we start to get to the spooky sections of the game. I'm all for that. So that's the thing I, I like about Condemned. When it gets to the, to the spooky parts, I think it does that pretty well. Let's fight some bums, say fuck a few times, and get spooked. Yeah, unfortunately, that's a, another side effect of the times. It's like an old man growing up. It's, it's stuck in its own time, man. I like to think Bulletstorm put an end to that. Probably because it did it too much. Yeah, they did. They just said, fuck, fuck, shit, fucking, fucking, shit, and fucking, fucking. People are like, that sounds really dumb. Let's not do that anymore. But then Grand Theft Auto V brought it back, but... Put some class on it, I think? Well, uh, Grand Theft Auto V's a little bit different. <laughs> is it, though? Yeah, it is. It's a crime simulator. It's like... It, it's like Breaking Bad the game, pretty much. Except, except instead of making meth, you're... robbing banks and shit. Stealing cars. Don't... use it with <laughs> Havoc physics. You gotta love those Havoc physics. Did that kill him? Yeah, that killed him. Uh, it's because he wasn't allowed over here. He basically hit the kill wall for NPCs. <laughs> it, I think that's literally what happened. He he wasn't supposed to go past that place, so it just killed him and sent his body backwards. Well, uh, if we remove kill wall from uh, our vocabulary, the, the board just snapped and it just... <laughs> his poor heart couldn't take it. It snapped down so violently that the updraft from it snapping downward just killed him. Like, that's pure mahogany! Ugh. <laughs> he gets a whiff of Peruvian walnut and just collapses. Even though these fire alarms are really stupid, mm -hmm. I just like them a lot better than collecting license plates or shoving birds down my pants. Just just saying. I, I do like that. Cause in Condemned 1, it they really don't explain why Ethan is just picking up these dead and or dying birds and just collecting them, and in the first one, you're just collecting plates of metal. That's silly, but in this one, you're kind of... As you said, you're you're making peace, I guess, and, you know, getting pictures of other things. We still have... If he was already a drunkard bum, you know, in the first game, it'd make a lot more sense. Right, right. <laughs> He's just collecting pieces of metal for warmth. Oh, Hello. I can trade this for a bottle of Jack. Yep, we gotta destroy meth labs again for our optional uh, collectible here. So, uh, the first one is actually very easy to miss if you just keep going forward. Double back around into one of the side rooms and then you're good. Because uh, this level has a few annoying points of no return. Hmm. For example. This guy... Look at this guy. Look at this oh, did, stiff. I just hear, hey, did, did someone just tell me that I'm dead? <laughs> ah! Oh. Hi, guys. I, I love mannequin scares. They're my favorite. Hi, guys. Because it's so very simple, yet so very creepy. I love it. I love this shit. This shit is my jam. Hmm. Well, you're not going back that way. That's your first point of no return. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's cool. Again, I love that shit. Uh, like I said, when Condemned gets to, like, like uh, psychological horror, I should say, not when it's, like, throwing goo monsters at you. No, when it does the psychological thing, it's great. 
Mm-hmm. Remember the demo of Resi 7 had a mannequin moment like that. There was like one mannequin, you, you go up, you do something, turn around, and it's facing the other way. I was so disappointed when that didn't happen in the real game. I was like on edge the whole time. It's like, is it gonna come to life or something? Come on! <laughs> it just gets closer. Hmm. Dude, what are you doing? It said don't come up here! I'm breaking the rules. I'm a maverick. Okay, we're not a cop anymore, so I guess we can. That's right. And I, I really do... This mechanic is just funny to me. There are chairs that are blocking doors, so you need to move the chair to unblock the door. They show you that one blatantly so you know what to do for later, because there's one other door that has a chair in front of it, and you just can't, like, bust it open or anything. You have to move the chair. Makes sense to me. I mean, it's still better than doors having to require a specific weapon to break open. Yeah. This game, this game don't have that, does that? No. Okay, good. Again, this is streamlined, condemned. It's a hell of a lot better. Don't you mean it's a fuck of a lot better? It's a fuck of a lot better. It's so fucking fuck good that it's fucking awesome. Obey them, behind you, eat shit, die... Uh... Ow. That sounded like a broke. And it did. It shattered on impact. Uh, take down uh, Dave Bautista here. No! Bautista! Come back for Guardians 3! <laughs> ah! God, he's taking forever. Is Dave Bautista the same guy as the wrestler? Yeah, that's Bautista. Uh, okay. Because I liked Bautista back in the day. And I didn't... I guess I didn't make the connection that <laughs> it's the actor now, too. I mean, like, what what professional WWE wrestler gets into acting besides all of them? Uh, yeah, all of them. <laughs> I mean, it's substituting one type of acting for another. It's like ever since, uh, you know, the Hulk started starting movies, every wrestler decided to do that, too. I mean, why not? You know, I bet internationally... Uh, people might think, man, are there really that many meth labs in America? And we here in America are like, yeah, no, there's more. Uh, just let me check my backyard. Oh, look, five of them. I'm pretty sure the apartment I was in was a meth lab. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Thank God it didn't blow up. Yeah, I, I think I moved in around the time they were getting all the meth heads out. There's still, like, one or two around here still. It's too bad we can't do that here in City City. Because <laughs> this Metro the city. entire city's a meth lab, am I right? <laughs> this is City News. <laughs> All the news you can hear in City. In City. In Metro City. <laughs> God, it's so silly. Alright, uh, we need to get over there, so let's... Let's find our route through this dilapidated building and see if we can't figure this out. Now, uh, here's a here's a little thing I like. We actually can't advance until we until we figure something out. I mean, I, I hope you figured it out from what happened Duh. earlier. That means we use ten med kits. Hooray for us! Oh. Yay! Uh, We're oh, so cool. There's a hole. Ooh. Oh, look, a Wait. chair. Ooh. Oh. Duh. Oh. <laughs> ah. Okay. I approve. That's nice. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> sliding door. That's different. I know, and I think that's like the only sliding door in this building. It's weird. Who was the contractor that set that up? Probably the one guy that wanted to mess with everybody. Like, some people like feng shui where all the doors open properly, but this one contractor was just... You know what? One sliding door. We killed you before, and we'll do it again. You can only kill someone once, can't you? I mean, as far as I know. Well, I have a feeling that was written by, like, a YouTube seven-year-old because they spelled wheel as well. All right. Come on. Murphy, you forgot the apostrophe again! God damn you! Don't! All right. Uh, grab the paint, we'll paint over it, and then we'll start again. I'm sorry. I want to do it again. Come on, people, it's not that hard to fix your English. That is, people who whose English is their first language. R yes, yes. If you originally speak English, fucking proofread. 
I don't care if you're insulting me and calling me an asshole or something like that. Please proofread. Yes, I want you to call me an asshole, not an ashole. If I want to take you seriously, you need to insult me correctly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that was a meth lab, or uh, oh, that was no, a that was... a thing, a uh, yeah, emitter. Because he destroyed one of those uh, emitters, and then it brought up the meth lab. I'm like, Wait, well, what? I brought that up just to check my collectibles. I'm I'm constantly checking oh. just to make sure I haven't uh, missed anything. I thought the game did that automatically. No, 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 no. That's uh, that's me pressing back. Okay, 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 okay. So it's your fault. Yep, that's me. I'm confusing everybody. It, well, <laughs> uh, let me guess. Is it the insanity kicking in? Uh oh. He knocked down the chair door. Let's go. Here, now make it quick. This Ethan Thomas, nonstop. the biggest enemy against chairs. Okay, fine. I'll find my own way over. Here we go! You know, this is also the, the age in video games where, uh, we have the black character. You know, yeah. It's ta like talks most, yeah, talks mostly jive, says motherfucker a lot. Mm -hmm. Usually 100% done with everything. Yeah. And, uh, I love how past me thought it could block a bullet with a toilet seat that's basically a giant target for you. Well, you take a big shot of whiskey, you know, anybody would think that. <laughs> oh, uh, check this out. On my way back... Uh, environmental uh, oh kill. Oh my... Oh! I thought you CPR'd him to death, but no, you put him against a wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are <laughs> some weapons... In the wall. There are some weapons that are jutting out of the wall that you can use as environmental kills. I completely forgot about that, and I was able to show it there. That's cool! It is cool. Alright, where are we? kills are nice. Let's see, where is... Ah, there it is. Alright, you, you want to have... Ow. You want to have a gun for this next segment just to get a collectible out of the way quickly? In here, there's an extra shotgun here. There's also health kits. But there is a guy tossing bricks over on the other side. Uh, we're going to take him out, and then we're going to grab a collectible. Why would a hand could have a scope? I'm just... Where is he? There he is. I mean, think. You have a pistol. You have a scope. So you put the gun, like, right up to your chin. Look down the scope, and... How's that work? Especially, and this seems like a really powerful handgun, too. I mean, my god. There, there's yeah, your shit. Your third sonic emitter was over there. You can get it later. You don't have to get it now, but I choose to get it out of the way now. Oh, hold on. I want, I want to pull a home alone. Hold on. Huh? I missed. Again? Maybe the, that's what condemned three should have. Home alone traps. You can oh set up God, traps. That would be and so shit. cool. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's that's not gonna kill him anytime soon. So let's. Go down and go into fisticuffs. Condemned three should also have Macaulay Culkin as the uh, as the protagonist. I mean, he already looks like a drug addict. So no, <laughs> yeah, no, not Ke not Kevin McAllister. I mean, the modern day twenty eighteen <laughs> <laughs> Macaulay Culkin. That's right. Or his brother? He's way better. Yeah, well, let's go with that. Let's go with both Culkin brothers and see what trouble we can't get into. Co oh dear. That's what Condemned is missing. Co-op. You and your drunken friend just running down an alley, killing people. What? What a dick! So is this military or police? Because military would be like, you know, the whole no soldier left behind thing, you know? Oh uh, yeah, this is local police. This is lo local corrupt cops. Uh, okay. As we're starting to tell, this guy doesn't like us very much, probably because, you know, we, we just don't look he, cooler. Don't think he likes his job. I mean... <laughs> He's like, I really wanted to be a bag boy at Kroger, but nope. They just selected me for police. This is just what I got stuck with. Got that axe fucking stuck in his head. That would be kind of cool if they if they had the technology. I would say yes, have weapons be able to do that. J j basically, just... like a mobile environmental kill. 
you know, the fact that Ethan is a bum and uh, the uh, lack of finesse on the combat really kind of makes this hilarious. <laughs> It's like you, you're, ju you're just throwing crap and missing, yeah. swinging wildly. Just... Oh, it, it is so funny. Especially when you get uh, in a fight with this many dudes. You're just running around, just flailing wildly, you know, picking up whatever you can get, and tossing it at them. And eventually they'll hit one another, so they'll start fighting amongst each other. It's so great. Meanwhile, LaRue's at the top of the building, just uh, watching down there. He's like, uh... Yeah, take this gun and just... There, yeah. Pow, pow. Oh, oh, don't die. No, don't die. I don't want to go back. The checkpoint system at this particular point is really mean. Because if you die, you go back to where they are all spawned, and you have that one guy with the scoped handgun still alive. It's mean. Does difficulty affect uh, checkpoints? Uh, difficulty affects damage, mainly. So... In only a few hits, you'll go down. It's hard mode is really fucking hard. Uh oh. Oh, thanks. Throw him into the fire. Oh, I want to. I want to. Ah! Oh. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking around now. <laughs> I, I guess I you missed. It's, I ran out of bottle, therefore my aim is shit, so fuck the guns. Let's try something else. Oh, and uh, this segment right here and the segment at the very beginning where uh, we got left behind, it'll actually mm -hmm. spawn infinite dudes, so what they want you to do is basically sneak around them. Uh, unfortunately, if you aggro one, you aggro all of them. Where the hell do I go? Well, they're too busy fighting each other. How do they? How could they care about you? I mean, basically, if you go into their line of sight, one guy will try to break away to try and catch you, and then they'll all come with him. And then it's just yeah. See this guy? He saw me out of the corner of his eye. There we go. And now he has no eyes. Oh, well, and this guy—he was the last survivor, so he's coming after me. <laughs> ah, here we go. Oh, finally. Let's see. Oh, hey. Did he throw something at you? Oh, he's behind you. Uh, excuse me. I was trying to hear that. Did he just run across that board like it was nothing? Yeah. I, I don't know how, but yeah, he's, he's coming with. Wait. Oh, yeah, he is. Go away! He wants to be your friend. Fuck off! I don't want to be your friend. Oh! So. Oh. Oops. Yeah, oh. yeah. I've also noticed the combo. When you're doing up a combo, it actually has an audio cue for when you're about to... What the fuck? I, I can't do a chain combo up here. There's not enough room. <laughs> All right, come here. Come here. That's a lot of environmental kills. Later. Whoa. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, uh, one final challenge, and then we're out of here. Let's take a quick chug. Yeah, the Ooh. last challenge is keeping this down. <coughs> hey, look, it's that guy. Oh, that guy. Yeah, the guy with all the, like, piercings in his face. The one that we essentially beat to death at the beginning. So we keep saying three times, two times, 1.5 times. What does that mean? Is it, like, accrue points or whatever? I'll have to look into that more, because I can't remember how the combo meter actually works. Is it like a damage uh, multiplier? That could be it. That makes more sense than what I was thinking. Yeah. Because there's no points, there's no experience, there's no cash, so it's got to be just damage. Ah, good thing I'm alright from that. Who's there? Yes, I am in fact a sonic emitter. Hunter S. Thompson? Fear loathing in City City. The Dark Blood, the Metal Kings, the Oreo. The Oreo? Ooh, cream filling. Ah. See, look, that circle right there, that's the cream filling. You know these people? Don't want to know them, but they know us. 
damage. <laughs> oh, I thought he died. <laughs> Excellent. Got a little bit of a cryptic message, and now the place is on fire. Fantastic. He just sounds like an asshole. <laughs> Everyone in this oh. game is an asshole. I don't know. I'd be a little bitter if I was falsely accused of killing somebody, and even though I was acquitted, they basically demonized me. Well, yeah, but would you sound like this always? I have to go down to the store and get me some bread. I with need a little to bit be of edgy. Peanut butter and jelly. Fucking peanut butter. But not the fucking crunchy kind, creamy only. God, he's th you sounded like a Gears of War protagonist. <laughs> anyway, I left in uh, the first attempt at trying to escape these guys. I thought you had to kill them all, and then I realized later that they continuously spawned. I just like how the physics broke on that guy. <laughs> and then, yep, as predicted. Cool. I also got one more. I had the had a really hard time with the gun guy, but this also gives me a chance to show this off. The guys can get combos on you. Oh man. So be very careful when going hand to hand because chances are high they'll hit you in a one two punch. Seems like guys in pig masks seem to give you a lot of problems. They're fucking nuisances! Oh my god, they're so difficult to kill. It's either that or my fists just aren't strong enough yet. Oh, well. We'll eventually get there. Uh, the next episode is... I guess you would call it a fan favorite? It's either that or the peop the one people get lost on most. A fan favorite that people get lost in. Sounds like a terrible labyrinth of some sorts. Well, b basically when I was looking up notes for this Let's Play, I had people... Uh, the, the first thing I looked up I was like, Condemned to... And then the first thing that popped up was Doll Factory, and I was like, oh, oh. great. Yeah, that sounds great. Doll Factory. Perfect. <laughs>